Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, the proof of the quadratic formula. Um, basically, we know that a quadratic could be written in this format of ax squared plus bx plus c. And when we using the quadratic formula, which is uh, in this blue box here, um, I just wanted to show you guys the connection between um, how you actually end up with this formula from the equ uh, a quadratic equation. Okay, so to do this process, what we need to do is do something called completing the square, which I will keep forgetting, but I will drop a video for that one as well later on. But we are going to use completing the square to actually uh, try and show you how to get um, the quadratic formula from the quadratic equation. So the way we're going to set it up is the first thing we're going to really do is get rid of the a in front of x squared. And that means we need to divide everything by a. So we're going to have ax squared over a plus bx over a plus c over a equals 0 divided by a. So what we have is our first, our two a's cancel out, and we're left with just x squared plus bx over a plus c over a equals 0 divided by a, which equals to 0. Now the next part is completing the square. So to complete the square, what we need to do is we're going to just look at this part right here and particularly looking at the coefficient of x. So what we have to do is um, divide the coefficient of x by 2, square it and then add it to both sides. So, sorry, just to one side. But anyway, look, let me just show you guys a little um, example just so you kind of can see how um, completing the square works just in case you've actually forgotten, all right? So what we're going to do is let's say we have something like this, uh, x squared uh, plus 6x plus 5 equals to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to just look at the x squared plus 6x, right? So we can rewrite it like this, x squared plus 6x equals negative 5. Now looking at the coefficient of x, it is actually 6. So if it's 6, half of 6 is 3. So we can rewrite this as x plus 3 squared equals minus 5. Now the problem though is that by doing a 3 squared here, there's an extra 9 that we've actually added on. So to balance it out, what we're going to do is we're going to add another 9 to the right hand side. All right. So what it ends up looking like is uh, x plus 3 squared equals positive 4. So this right here, when we complete the square, it looks something like this. Or you can also say it, it looks like this, x plus 3 squared minus 4 equals to 0. Now watch what happens if I actually expand this x plus 3 squared. Because when I expand it, I'm going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus 4 equals to 0. And then 9 minus 4 is 5, so I've got x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals to 0. And this is what I originally started with. All right, now that's a really quick example there of how to complete the square. So when we actually get into our um, back to our quadratic equation, we're going to follow the same steps here. So we're going to write down x squared plus b over a x equals negative c over a. Now, following on that steps, we've got to actually go x plus b over a divided by 2. So that means it's going to become b over 2a. And then now that squared equals minus c over a. Now in the previous example, like the numeric example, we had to add that 9. Remember how we had to add the 9 because it was 3 squared? Likewise, we have to actually add b over a squared to the right hand side. So we're going to put that like put it like this, b over 2a squared. So now what we can do is kind of keep on carrying on. So we've got x plus b over 2a squared equals, now I'm just going to rearrange this, so b squared, because it's positive, so b squared is, is b squared, divided by 2a squared becomes 4a squared, and then I've got minus c over a. Now at this point, um, on my right hand side, I need to actually combine them to actually create it into one fraction. And what I can see is if I multiply the numerator denominator by 4a, then I will end up with 4a squared on both sides. So that means I got to multiply the numerator by 4a, 
And now what I have is b squared minus 4ac, and the whole thing is divided by 4a squared. As for the uh, left-hand side, nothing's happening there so far. I've got x plus b over 2a squared. Okay, now I need to write x by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the squared. And when I get rid of the squared, on the right-hand side, I will get square root of b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. And also remember, when you take a square root of a number, you are going to get plus or minus. So we're nearly there, folks. Remember the square root uh, rules is that you could actually split the square root up, because, of, especially when you're having a fraction. So this could be written as b squared minus 4ac. And the whole thing is now divided by square root of 4a squared. So still keeping up with the theme, x plus, 2, x plus b over 2a equals plus or minus. I can't do anything with the b squared minus 4ac. That stays as it is. But as for the um, square root of 4a squared, I can replace that with just 2a. So now we want to have x by itself. So x is going to look like this. b over 2a, when it comes to the right-hand side, it becomes minus b over 2a plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And because 2a is a common factor for both, uh, sorry, common denominator, we can write it like this, minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And so guys, that's basically how you get the quadratic equation uh, from the quadratic formula there. So if I actually go back, yeah, it's a lot of working. Let me see. Yeah, I think you guys can kind of, hopefully you guys can see that the one in uh, the blue box right at the top is equal to the blue box right at the bottom. Now, in your NCA exam, I've hardly asked them to ask, I've hardly asked you to prove this, but it is something worth, you know, even if you just watch it once, just kind of remember it, that you can actually do a couple of tricks like this. It's a really good thing to know. All right, guys, that's it for this video here. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and of course, subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Hopefully, there should be some playlists popping up. Check them out. Thank you for watching.